Good morning, everyone. I decided it was time to check in again. It's another sort of day in the life video for you here. I'll show you where I am right now. I am currently in the main station of Hamburg. I'm not here to take a train to go anywhere. I'm staying in Hamburg today, but I went to the big electronics store, which is over there, to pick up a new hard drive because I'm running out of space and when I get back home, I'm going to begin transferring and organizing all the files from my Virgin Voyages cruise. So they're all still on SD cards and in this phone. And I thought, okay, before I start transferring and start working on those video projects, I better buy a new hard drive so it's all in one place. I'm trying to get more organized that way. It makes my work easier. <sighs> it is a beautiful day here in Hamburg. The sun is shining. It's probably like 75 degrees. Just this kind of weather is so motivating, I think. And as I walk out of the station here, I wanted to let you know if you are somebody who hasn't traveled a lot to European cities, that the main train stations, the people who hang around them, and usually the area very close to the main station is not the nicest area of the city. So never let, never let that first impression be like your main impression of wherever you're going. Like, there's some nice things around the main station in Hamburg, but there's also some not nice things. And like I said, especially the people who tend to like hang around the station, not usually the people that you want to make friends with. The neighborhood that we live in here in Hamburg is called St. George or St. Georg. And that is the Church of St. George. So that's why this neighborhood is called that. And over here, this is the beginning of a long row of restaurants and shopping called the Lange Reihe, which translated means the long row. And it is one of the nicer areas close to the main station. Like I said, it's not all bad, but just, just as like a warning. And because I just got a message from Marcus saying that he ate the leftovers from last night for lunch, I'm gonna go try out a new vegan cafe that popped up here on the street. I, I didn't even notice that it was open. It was in a space that's been closed for quite a while and now all of a sudden it's a vegan cafe. I mean, honestly though, how would you know that that is a new cafe? Look at how the signage is here in the neighborhood and there there's just a tiny little sign over the door. So hopefully they're ordering a new one soon. All right, I'm back at home now, and I found out the reason that the, the front of the store looks like that is because they haven't officially opened yet. There's, they're doing what they call a soft opening, and I just wonder if that's really good for them because unless they put a big sign out front that says soft opening, this is gonna be the first impression that the neighborhood gets of their store, and it looks half finished, so I don't know. But the food was really good. I got a vegetarian quesadilla, or no, a vegan quesadilla with vegan uh, ground beef, uh, which was spicy, some kind of vegan cheese, uh, and avocado with vegan chili mayo, and it was really, really good. And I will definitely go back there again, and I just, I wish them good luck here in the neighborhood. And now I'm, uh, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. When I went in, there was a woman at the counter. I think she's just really lonely. And she chatted, the poor girl who was working there, she chatted her ear off, just telling her about all kinds of different stuff, asking her questions about the the bread that she bakes there, how she bakes it, what are the ingredients in it. Uh, but then she was like asking questions about the opening times and the costs of things, just basically anything to stay in a conversation. And then she started telling her about how she recently got a, what do you call that in English, where they where they pump water up your butt and then clean out your system that way. What is that called? It's not a colonoscopy. It's a hydro colon hydrotherapy or something like that. And I was like, girl, this is a restaurant. Let's not talk about that here. So yeah, this poor woman was just, I think, just kind of lonely and looking for somebody to talk to. And the, the, the younger woman who was working at the cafe 
was a very patient listener and that was also great too. So another reason to go back there and just support this small business here in my neighborhood. Anyways, I'm back here at home, gotta unpack my hard drive. These are the kind that I use usually. This is two terabytes. I think it cost me probably about 85 US dollars. I think it was 71 euros. I probably have 20 of these, but I don't know a better way to do it. So, gosh, what? The, the amount of footage I have of cruise ships, theme parks, and other tourist destinations around the world from my other channel, the Very Unofficial Travel Guides, it's crazy. And yeah, it just keeps growing and growing and growing. Anyways, I'm gonna sit down to at my computer now and start the boring part of my day, but thanks for hanging out with me for this little piece of it. Once again, let me know if you like these kind of videos. I will get back to doing more comedy, fun, silly videos on here uh, soon, and just stay tuned. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye.